face has returned, I guess. Um, it's August 10th, and was it three days ago? Two days ago? I finished warping up. Warp. Not even warping up, because they're not on a loom. I finished measuring out warps for the weaving of this tunic. And I realized that I didn't give any description to <laughs> tell you what I was doing. So basically, this wooden frame that I have, this thing, is basically a way to do really long lengths of yarn or thread or whatever you need in a very small area. With the rigid head of looms, usually the tutorials on how to warp them up are uh, what we call direct warping, where you have a wooden peg that you clamp a certain distance away from your loom, you clamp your loom to a table, and you just loop your warp through your loom. That's very difficult if you need something that is, say, three yards or longer. Also, it's very handy to measure out all of the warps ahead of time if you're going to be doing a lot of weaving because it is very physical, direct warping a loom with a long warp length. So I have done these pairs of warps um, I've labeled them all, uh, as you saw in the video, so that I knew which ones belonged to which. Um, there are two, two of these chains uh, per woven piece, because I can comfortably fit about 80 loops on this warping board without the pegs pulling out. Um, and for example, the body pieces are 128 loops per piece. So I just divide that number in half for all of these so that I have two. And that'll help me later when I'm actually warping the loom because there will be a, a stopping point for a break in the middle, which is good because it's not a very comfortable thing to warp a loom. At least I've not found a comfortable way to warp a loom. You kind of just have to hover over it. <laughs> or kind of below to the side of it. It's a thing. But you'll see that later when I warp the loom. So I have... The first body piece, which will be two halves of a front or a back, and the longest body piece also includes some extra yardage for um, underarm gussets, that kind of stuff. So this, whoops, caught on the basket. A second body piece, which is two halves of a front or back. My dad just got home, so the dog is barking. Here she is. <coughs> Pen, you're on camera. <coughs> you wanna be on YouTube? <coughs> He's outside. <coughs> Do you wanna go outside? <coughs> what? So as I was saying, two chains for the gussets uh, in the skirt part of the tunic, and two for the length to cut out sleeves. I'm really glad I dyed those extra two skeins of yarn because um, this is what I have left over out of eight 100 gram skeins of fingering weight yarn. This is what I have left over. That's it, I'm not dying any more of this yarn. What I got is what I got. 
So that's where I'm at with this tunic project.
morning. It is Saturday, November 6th. I am currently sitting in precarious spider land at the moment. Oh, the heating's turned off. Hooray. That will uh, probably help with the sound in this clip a bit. Um, yes, I'm sitting in precarious spider land down here to hide from the, as you can see, incredibly powerful rays of the sun to give you an update on what's going on with weaving. So I have finished weaving the gusset fabric, which is looking great so far. I'm really pleased with it. However, this is the spool of the linen cotton yarn I've been using for the weft. I've used probably about half of this spool just for the gusset yardage, which I believe is the shortest piece to weave. So I have purchased two more just to be safe, but I don't know if you can see it here on camera. Maybe lighting's not great down here, but it's better than up there. Um, but the original is slightly more yellow than these two new ones, which is why you want to buy as much yardage as you can all at the same time it's more likely to be from the same dye lot i don't know if the new yarn versus the old yarn will look significantly different woven up we will see the plan is to next warp up the warp yarns for the sleeve yardage and for that i will alternate the original yarn and the new yarn and the heat has started back up again these will alternate so i can see if there's any significant change between the two actually in the warp yarns if there is i will not continue using this on the body pieces because this will run out but if it doesn't look really any different then i'll just keep using this one until it runs out and then keep going with whatever is being used so that's the plan. So I will get back to uh, weaving.